Okay, you have taken a great decision that you are going to appear for this TensorFlow Developer Certificate examination that is being conducted by Google. Now, one of the common questions that everyone would have is, if I want to take this TensorFlow Developer Certificate using my local system, what are the system setup that I have to make sure that I'll be getting the better examination experience? So in this video, I'm going to show you the system setup that you have to take care at your local system so that you can get the best examination experience while appearing for this examination. Now, one of the important points that you have to keep in mind is while appearing for this TensorFlow Developer Certificate, first you have to make sure that you have the ID of PyCharm because the students will be assessed based on the coding that we'll be writing in this PyCharm IDE tool. So it is always suggested that you download the version that is being suggested by the TensorFlow team and install the Python version that is being on which you will be assessed on. Now on the date of creation of this video, the Python version that is being suggested by TensorFlow team is 3.8 and the PyCharm version is 2021.1 or any version of 2021. Now to download this PyCharm, you have to just use this URL that is present in this particular slide, guys. Okay, PyCharm version is 2021.1 or any version of 2021 and the Python version is 3.8. Now, once the examination starts, the examination infrastructure is going to install all these libraries by default. So by default, it is going to install this TensorFlow 2.5, TensorFlow datasets 4.3, Pillow library 8.2 version, uh, pandas library 1.2.4 and the numpy version of 1.19.5 and scipy version of 1.7.0 now keep a note of it guys so these version numbers is going to get changed as the latest version gets released so make sure that you check out the candidate handbook that is being provided by google team in the tensorflow developer certificate examination website and I put the link in the description so that you can get the more information when you're appearing for the examination. So this TensorFlow team actually suggests that they actually ask us to install it, install this PyCharm beforehand and try installing all these libraries in our system so that we'll not face any issues while appearing for the examination. Now I'm going to show you the steps as how you can do this setup in your Windows system. So let's get started guys. The first step is you have to download this PyCharm. So to download the PyCharm, I'll open up my browser. I'll search for download PyCharm. Community edition. So you can take the examination through community edition as well as the professional edition guys. So I'm going to show you the demonstration with community edition. I'm going to click a download. So this is going to download the latest version that was there in the link. So in this scenario, it is 2021.2. Now, if you want to select a specific version, what you can do is from this screen, just click on other versions and then you can select the required version for your installation purpose. Now, once this has been installed, you have to just follow the normal installation procedure to complete the installation of this PyCharm Community Edition. Now in my scenario, I have already installed this PyCharm in my local system. Okay. So what you have to do is once you have completed the installation, installation thing, just go ahead and run this PyCharm community edition. Okay. So this is going to start this PyCharm community edition. Now TensorFlow team suggests us that we have to try installing the libraries, which is actually being suggested by the examination. So to test out all those things, what you can do is you can go to file on top and create a new project. Okay. Now here for the project name, I'm going to give it as uh, examination uh, virtual environment that I'm trying to create. And here I'm creating using my virtual environment and for the version of Python. So in place of my base interpreter, make sure you select the version as Python 3.8. Now, since I have my Python 3.8 already installed locally, so it's just mentioning the path. So if you have not installed Python locally, then you might have to select the specific version of Python that you want to install it or that you want to select as a base interpreter. And once you have selected this base interpreter, just click on create. So this is going to create a new project. Okay. So 
this has created a new project this would take a time if you are running it for the first time so it has to first download the python library and once the python library has been installed it actually does many activity in the back end guys okay in my scenario a new project has been created now once the project has been created what we can do is we can just try manually installing the libraries which will be actually installed by this examination infrastructure from tensorflow team for that just go to file on top and select settings now here from this screen select the packages okay so this packages is available inside this project see click on this project tf tensor tf test examination expand this and select uh, this python interpreter now once you select this python interpreter now here you have the option to install the required package and its specific version. Let's go ahead and install this TensorFlow 2. Dot, what is the version that we had? So let's go ahead and install this TensorFlow 2.5 and let's see whether it is going to be successful or not. Now to install this TensorFlow package, just click on this plus button and select TensorFlow. And for the version, specify the version which is equal to 2.5. Okay, and then click this button of install package. Now this is going to start installing my TensorFlow package for this local system. Now in the same way, go ahead and install the other packages as well. So the other packages that are being suggested is TensorFlow datasets 4.3. So TensorFlow hyphen datasets and the specific version is 4.3 then click on this install package and this is going to start installing my tensorflow dataset in the back end and similarly follow the same steps for the other libraries as well so below version is 4.3 Okay, now once below library has been installed, I'll go ahead and install my pandas library. So pandas specific version is 1.2.4. I'll go ahead and install this package. Okay, now after pandas, I'm going to select the numpy library. So numpy 1.2.4. Nineteen dot five. So this is the version that I want to install. So I'm going to select this install package. So this is going to take care of the installation of my NumPy library, and then I'll go ahead and install my SciPy library. SciPy one dot seven dot zero. So this is the specific uh, package version that I want to install. All right, so I'm getting many successful messages guys successful messages saying yes tensorflow has been installed numpy has been installed and now pandas installed and in the back end I think it's also installing the scipy as well. So I'm going to close all these sessions and Let's see. Let me close this as well and I'll check the status using this show all button Okay, so I could see it is currently installing the package of scipy. Okay, scipy package also has been installed now this completes the basic installation procedure that we have to test out in our local system okay now let's do one thing let's create a new python script and see whether all these uh, packages has been installed correctly and let's verify the versions of those packages as well so i'll go ahead and create a new python script so file new and i'll create a python file and i'll say package verification and I'll hit the enter key okay now I'll start by importing my tensorflow library tensorflow as tf and I'm going to display a tensorflow version okay and after this I'm going to import pandas library display my pandas version and I'll import my numpy library all right I'll verify the version of my scipy library and I'll import pillow library okay so we have imported various libraries i think this should be pil guys okay pillow is pil so pil dot version 
now that we have the script ready i'll save the script now i'll go ahead and i'll run this python script so we can verify the same and we also have the output for tensorflow data set and its version is 4.3 now this confirms that my system is now ready for taking the examination of tensorflow certification examination so i suggest you to do the same steps in your local system before you appear for the examination this will make sure that your system is ready and your system is not having any issues while installing these mandatory libraries while appearing for the examination now keep a note guys these are all just the mandatory libraries that gets installed by default but apart from these if you want to use any other specific libraries while appearing and while solving the problems or while solving the questions in the tensorflow examination you can go ahead and install it while appearing in the examination as well but these are the mandatory ones that gets installed by the tensorflow examination infrastructure now do note these versions might get changed but uh, what you can do is you can follow the same steps now to get the latest version that you have to install in a local system always and always refer to the official candidate handbook that is provided by tensorflow developer team thank you so much for watching the video till the end and i really wish you all the best for your tensorflow developer certificate examination and if you want more such tips and tricks for getting the best out of this tensorflow examination please let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to help you in your tensorflow developer certificate journey